Well, that went terrible. The first time is always going to be awkward. That's what, when you go back and tell okay. your relatives that we filmed a video <laughs> together, that's what you're going to tell them. <laughs> I've never filmed with another booktuber before or with anybody else. So yeah, thank you for taking my um, booktube collab virginity today. It's my pleasure. <laughs> and this will also be the most highest quality video I'll ever have on my channel. Anyway, today I'm joined by Elias and we are gonna play the five second book summary tag. I was tagged by Sophia from the book Basement. Basically the rule here is that one person is gonna pluck out a book title and they are gonna have to try to summarize the book in five seconds for the other person to guess correctly. So it's kind of like taboo, but for books. We're gonna avoid using the title of the books and the author name and the character's okay. names. Okay. I have 30 book titles in this cup. 30? So, well, okay, it's five seconds. Oh, God, so okay. I feel like it'll, okay, it'll go okay, by okay, fast. Okay. That makes sense. Until we get tired or something. I don't know. Listen, <laughs> there are worse videos to make in your bedroom. So I'm thinking I'll do 15 okay. and then you'll do 15, okay. right? What I did to come up with these book titles is before we hung out, I went through your Goodreads. Oh my god. And I looked through all the books that you've <laughs> that's, read. That's a good idea. And after I judged all of the books that you've read, I put together book titles that we have both read or books that I have seen like the movie adaptations for or books that I am somewhat familiar with where I might be able to guess it. So I think that they're going to vary in... So there's a good balance then? I okay. think there's a good balance because okay. there's some that are, you know, like the really popular YA books and then there are some where like there might be classics, maybe a manga. It's interesting. And I also feel like a lot of these books, you might have read it like a long time ago okay. or I read it a long time ago. So I do think there will be varying I'm degrees. I'm excited. I don't like this. I feel pressured already. Anything. Shit. Okay. <laughs> Why am I so nervous? Okay, tell me I'm going to start. Uh, okay. Oh, a guy likes, um, a rich, oh, wait, a guy likes a rich girl and he, oh, shit, damn it. <laughs> oh, I don't know. A guy likes a rich girl? Yeah. <laughs> he dies in a pool. The Great Gatsby? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That only took like five million seconds. Well, that went terrible. The first time is always going to be awkward. That's what... When you go back and tell okay. your relatives that we filmed a video together, <laughs> that's what you're going to tell them. The first time was awkward, but we the made it through. <laughs> we plowed through it. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, um, uh, people are immortal, but there are grim reapers. Sky. Yes! Or scythe. It's yeah. scythe, not we, scythe. We made it, though. We made it. Oh, a uh, robot fairy tale. Cinder. Yes. Yes! Oh, dude, we're doing so good. We're I'm doing, doing really so well. Good. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, oh, video game, Asian main character. Warcross. Yes! Dude! This is too easy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, oh, well, okay. No, no, no. no it's, <laughs> it's because we're so good, but also I think it's because they're like YA. No, also because you are like really eloquent at like saying. Now's not the time. Five... Why do we have 20 minute booktube videos? We can just do like Don't five know. second videos. Oh, uh, fair, urban fantasy, pretty cover, but, un oh shit. Mm. Urban fantasy, pretty cover? But underwhelming, released this year. Took place in a forest. It's not popular though. Took place in a forest. So basically the main character finds out her grandma died and she gets- The Hazelwood. Yeah. That, was, that was my first guess when you said- um, Oh before, really? Yeah, I just realized, do you think it's a little dark? Even if we filmed it in the dark, it would be better than my usual quality. Oh, um, shit. It, it was a popular book we saw today. It's popular high fantasy. Oh, shit. <laughs> high fantasy. Was it vicious? No. Mm. High fantasy? It's hard because I haven't read this book, but you were saying that I should read it and vlog it. Throne of Glass. Yeah. If you had said YA high fantasy, oh, I would have got it. Because yeah. when you said high fantasy, I immediately thought of like adult. I needed 30 to round it out. And so I picked Throne of Glass as the last one, even though I hadn't read it. Because I was like, oh, mm. I figured it out. It'll be fine. Okay. But it was not fine. Oh, um, uh, para, uh, two prince, two queens that live a thousand years apart. Furryborn. Yeah. Okay. Not to be mistaken with Furryborn, which is when two furries were born a thousand years apart. Oh, uh, video game, uh, Ready Player One? Yes. Okay. Whoa, you're doing good. Good job at, uh, summarizing them in five seconds. Yeah. I don't think I'll be able to do that. Oh, um, uh, a girl falls in love with a guy in a wheelchair. Movie adaptation. Me before you. Yes! Wow, this is, this is not that bad at all. I thought yeah. I wouldn't be able to guess anything. Yeah. 
Oh, um, it's it's a classic about two lovers, star-crossed lovers. Uh, star-crossed lovers. Yes. Classic, you said? Yeah, classic star-crossed lovers. Um, balcony. Oh, blah blah blah. Um, Wherefore Romeo art thou? Juliet? Yes. I should have said Wherefore art thou. Oh, uh, this one everyone liked it, but we thought it was overhyped. It takes place in the carnival. Caraval. Yeah. Oh, this one is also classic. It was made into a Broadway musical about a poor guy. I dreamed a dream of life gone by. What? <laughs> you read this, dude. Mm. It was made into a Broadway musical. Some girl was like, I Les Miserables? Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that sounds strangely familiar. <laughs> oh, this one was made into a Netflix movie about an Asian girl who writes letters. Love letters. To all the boys I've loved before. Yes. And we're getting a sequel. Yes. Yes. Oh, uh, a classic you read you read in school about a guy who makes a monster. Frankenstein. Yes. Wow. Right? Okay. One more. Whew. The finale. Oh, uh, you write uh, this person's name in the book and they die. Death Note. Yes! Wow. We're good, dude. Give me high five. We are good. Wow, that was great. Mm -hmm. I did so good. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Just kidding, you did great too. <laughs> and she did a better job at explaining all the books than I than I could ever. Well, we'll see. Okay. <sighs> Just like Are you I don't nervous? Think I can do this yet. Hand Apple. Twilight. Oh, yeah. Yes. Her first book, it's about dead uh, souls in a library. Oh, uh, Archives. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's it? Yeah. Okay, cool. It was, it's actually not her first book, but her first YA her, book. Oh, okay. I don't, actually, I don't know if that's true or not. What? You haven't read any of these, have you? No, no, no. I read the Archives. Oh, okay. I have not read Twilight, but I know enough. I wonder what would happen if you picked books we didn't, we haven't read. Or, like, that were popular. I don't think we would kind of Oh, that were popular? Yeah. I mean, I don't even know what popular books are about. Like, Harry I don't even know what Throne of Glass is about. Oh. I don't know what An Ember in the Ashes is about. Uh, Wait, put it, put it back in again because I accidentally saw the title. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I just imagined, what if I said that really loudly for your relative to hear? Put it back in again. <laughs> it's like, thank you, next. This girl has cancer. Oh, uh, The Fall of Our Stars. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Bingo. These four girls are bound to get married. <gasps> Classic. Oh, uh, uh, fuck. It was a Jane Austen. Pride and Prejudice. Yep. Yeah. Was it four girls or was it just two? I don't can't remember. Shit, I don't know. I only remember okay. Elizabeth, Jane, and Lydia. Yeah, I, was, I think it was just three. I wasn't even close to any of them. <laughs> it's okay. I kind of got it. My favorite series of all time. I even got a tattoo of it. Oh, the Raven Cycle? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Glad you put that one in there. Yeah. That's what she said. It's a middle grade series about a group of kids getting into these terrible accidents. Oh, a series of unfortunate events. Yeah. Yep. Oh wow, I'm surprised myself. I am not right? too bad. <laughs> See? See? Also by this author that we talked about. Um Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> what author? <laughs> okay, keep on going. <laughs> okay, um, well it's this author. We talked about her. Um she's she has red hair. Oh, Victoria Schwab? Yeah. Vicious? No. Oh, a darker shade of magic. Yeah. Why didn't yeah. you say, like, London, parallel universes? Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm, I'm, you can tell I'm bad at this. <laughs> fuck. I should have... Yeah, you're right. I didn't know... I was, like, thinking of this. I was like, shit, what did I say about this? I was like, Darker Shade. I was like, going to be like, hey, what's that uh, movie called with 50 of Grey? <laughs> that would <laughs> be a you poor analogy. Through. Oh, I should have put 50 Shades of Grey. That would have been interesting. <laughs> how would you... Know, but you would... but you hadn't read that. I did read it. Oh, you did? Yeah. Why didn't you put it on Goodreads then? Shade. You put Twilight on Goodreads. <laughs> Wait, I didn't put that on Goodreads? Fifty Shades? I saw Twilight. Um, I didn't see Fifty Shades. Huh. No, no, I'll fix that. Good. Five out of five stars. <laughs> it's about a fortress and a woman who turns old. Or a girl who turns old. Oh, House Moving Castle. Yeah. Yeah. Made into a movie. Yes. That was a cute movie. That was. I really liked it. It's one of my favorites, actually. I like Spirited Away. That's my favorite, too, but that one is a keeper. Your favorite book. <gasps> Six of Crows. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's not bad at all. Yeah. Okay, ready? It's made out of uh, trees, and it's not a city, but a... Oh, paper towels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Blue and... No. Red and green wait, makes what color? 
Red and green. Oh no, I said the title. Are you stupid? I was supposed to say Wait. blue and purple. Makes what color? Blue and purple? Yeah. Wait. What? What makes this color? I don't think you can make this color. Blue and red make purple. No, yellow and orange. Yellow and orange? Mm -hmm. What color do they make? Yellow and red make orange. Oh shit. Dude, you're a fucking designer. What are you talking about? <laughs> you're a fucking disaster. <laughs> um, okay, not a king, but a... Prince? Queen? Yeah. Oh, the red queen. <laughs> what the fuck? I will kindly exit this chat now. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> this was a whole journey. Red is a primary color, right? Yes. So you can't make yes. it. Yes. Are you okay? <laughs> this is part of the footage where it'll be deleted. Remember when I told you that one of my design classes was like cutting color mm -hmm. pieces and mixing them together? I feel like you needed that class. <laughs> I could have said castle ab powers and abilities. That's know? like every fantasy book though. You yeah, know what? Sure. I guess it is hard to summarize the, the Red Queen because it's basically every fantasy book. Oh, four books with blue cover. Anyway. <laughs> um, Shailene, Shailene Woodley started this. Divergent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Three seconds. I didn't even read, um... Divergent. Did you watch the movie? Yeah, it was horrible. <laughs> it's stuck in there. You're reading the series right now. Oh, uh, <laughs> the Grisha trilogy. Yeah. I was like, why did it take me forever to remember? I feel like we're like taking, sh I'm like taking shortcuts around just like your favorite series. Oh, the series you're reading right no, now. No, that's fine. It's not even like a summary of the book. That's fine. Um, Avatar in like a Russian setting. <laughs> Avatar? Yeah. You compare it to Avatar? Yeah. Yeah. How dare you? Six of Crows and Grisha? Like, hello? Oh, it's because you don't like the series. Yeah. <laughs> so you're insulting <laughs> Avatar. Um, this girl was killed and she lives as a ghost. She lives as a Oh, the lovely bones. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see the movie? I did. So good. I thought it was well done. I, I saw it when I was like 12, 13. Yeah, it was, it was really well done. Strong. Yeah, it was really good. Peter mm -hmm. Jackson did a really good job. I think it's one of those underrated ones. Mm -hmm. I didn't read the book though, so. Oh, Wait, really? did I read the book? I, I read the book. No, you did. You I did because it was on Goodreads. Yeah. I know you're reading history better than you do class. now. Um, bow and Arrow. Oh, Hunger Games. Yeah. Nice. Oops. <laughs> nice. Red and yellow make what color? Good, good. Cool. That was fun. Actually, that was way easier than I anticipated. Yeah, see? Like, way easier. The lesson is you just have to believe in yourself. Or maybe just like go in your Goodreads account and just like see all the books you've read. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe if we do this again, we could do books that we haven't read. Wait, I want to do one right now. What? A popular book that I don't think you've read. Cool. Trivia, cool. Tri trivia, trivia, trivia time. Okay. Um, Final round. Death round. Blue book, <laughs> Moths. Bloop. Oh, uh, Stranger Dreamer? There you go. I have read it. Oh. I read the beginning right. of it. Right. Oh, we, we, we talked about this. I read the beginning of it, and I couldn't finish it. Oh, yeah, we did talk about this. We, yeah. My bad. Okay, again, again, again. Okay, okay. Um, let me see. Okay. White Book Fairies. White Book Fairies? I don't know. Really, okay, really think. What, what white book came out this year... With fairies. With fairies. The cool prince. Yeah. Oh. Well, Yay. thanks for having me on this. No, thanks for wonderful. inviting me to your house. Thanks <laughs> I... for meeting me for the first time and then inviting me to your house. It escalated so quickly. It felt like a Tinder date, except I wasn't like afraid of being murdered this time. That should be a that thing. has happened to you before. That's that's just like a girly thing, you know. Oh, Whenever okay. you go out with a guy, like it's just like maybe I'll get murdered someday, you know. Just girly things. Can't relate. Thank you so much for entertaining me. Thank you. And being my first uh, in real life booktube collaboration. It was fun. We had a good day. Yeah, we did. Well, Goodbye. subscribe to Cindy and... No, un unsubscribe from my channel and subscribe to Elias instead. <laughs> um, he's branching out to more than just bookish videos. He's going to do tons Hopefully. of cool shit. We'll see. For 2019. So you best keep an eye out for that. And I'm just going to do the same shit I always do with my iPhone camera instead of this fancy thing. <laughs> no. So don't expect the quality to get anything like this. What's quality when you have quantity? Quantity of what? Of everything. I mean, she's a better graphic designer than I am, so. I haven't, I haven't seen your portfolio yet. You don't, you don't want you to. You have to see. New video idea, roasting <laughs> your portfolio. <laughs> okay, well, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.
Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed my collab video with Elias. I was in California for a week, so I actually got to meet up with him on my last day before going back home. But this has made me realize that I really like filming collab videos with other booktubers, and I would love to do more if anyone is available or interested. So to any booktubers who are watching this, I will be traveling to New York City and to Lisbon and Porto and Portugal in May. So if anyone wants to meet up or just hang out, just slide into my DMs like Elias did. Especially if you live in Portugal, because I would love to meet other people. I'm doing like a solo trip, so it would be nice for me to just meet other locals and see what the city's about. I also wanted to say thank you for 22,000 subscribers. And for this, I am going to shout out Tasha from Her No Stuck in the Book. She is really sweet and she actually used to be on and off booktube and has deleted some of her videos because she felt discouraged, which I think is a shame because I think everyone deserves to have a voice. So I would love to see her hit 1,000 subscribers. If if you are a Grishaverse fan, I would recommend you to check out her Bookish Babbles video where she talks about the Grishaverse Netflix adaptation and her vlog for the King of Scars tour. She's also the reason why I'm going to read King of Scars and The Gilded Wolves this year. So if you are a fan of either of those books, I highly recommend for you to check out her channel. So that's about it for today. And as usual, go ahead and subscribe for my channel and subscribe to Tasha instead. And that's about it. See ya. You are yellow. What I said, you say that I'm silly, but I am red. But if you were to hug me, you'd see a big change. We